We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what that was. I just wanted to start off with a little bit. So, not a, what does it mean to be in a relationship? And that's a really fundamental question. It's not a ponders without laughing at me at all. Sorry, I'm stumbling at the very beginning. I think it might be better to meet in person and talk about this. Ah, uh, really? God, he's such a hottie. Okay, um, yeah, I, I, anyway, I prefer a more personal connection over a digital communication. I see. I think there are some things that are better related in real life. That was me both swooning and yawning at the same time. <laughs> I guess it'll I'll only trouble you if I say this, since you're a scientist. For now, let's just go for a meal sometime. Uh, okay, um, I'll be in your care. Like I said, this isn't our wedding night or anything. Ah, uh, sorry. Then, location. Is there anywhere you want to go, Roswell? Somewhere for a meal? Huh. Oh my god, yes, the choice has finally come into action. Oh, oh, the canteen. I want to go to the canteen so bad. Just because I want to see what characters are, like, drunk. Wait, is that what... That was in the canteen. Isn't that, like, a bar, basically? Oh, not the sushi restaurant. And definitely not a fancy thing, so definitely the canteen. How about Teen University's canteen? It's been a few years since I graduated from Teen University. I still visited the canteen occasionally since it gave me a sense of security. The canteen? Oh, that's good. Uh, sorry. I said something strange, huh? No. It's kind of refreshing somehow. Oh my god, yes, heart! Oh! Because, okay, so this is the thing. Is he's not a very fancy kind of guy. He's kind of more rough and tumble. But he's also not one of those people who would go to a sushi thing. Like, I'm sorry. But he does seem more like a canteen kind of guy. I'm sorry, any badass seems more like a canteen kind of guy. If I'm thinking of canteen is the right thing. Which, so far, I think it is. I thought women like him existed in a different century. That's an exaggeration. I don't really know what's going on, but it looks like I left a good impression on him. Yes, he loves me. Sorry, I don't much. I don't know much about shops, because we can slide not. This is just what I like about. I like, but how about a cafe called Macheri? Dang it! So we're not going to the canteen. Derp! Uh, okay. I'll leave it to you. Got it. And let's meet in front of Macheri at 1.30 p.m. on Saturday. I'll send you the directions. Th thank you. Uh, see you then. Sonata smiles as the call ends. <laughs> Talking about relationships with Sonata, huh? I'm really kind of looking forward to it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so, wait. I swear, if it's a fancy restaurant, I'm going to be married. <laughs> Although, to be honest, from my knowledge on dating sims, there is a small problem with choosing exactly what the guy wants. However, it depends on the dating sim. Okay, so basically by that I mean, in a lot of dating simulators, if you choose exactly what the other guy is already thinking, sometimes it'll end up with a good result, but sometimes it'll add in a bad one because they'll be like, oh, I wanted to do something new, or I was hoping that we would be exactly the same because as you guys know, opposites attract. Hence, Jess and I. <laughs> we are complete fucking opposites. Except for we both swear equally. Actually, no, I still swear less than her. Never mind. Fuck that. <laughs> okay, so the thing is, with dating sims, it takes a while to get used to the style of it. And this is something that finally that the choices are in play, I actually have to take into account. Earlier, it was just like a story, but now it's like I actually have to think. And that's the problem. It's a lot of dating sims are written by... Well, obviously, they're all written by different people. But depending on the dating sim, it'll have different choices that lead to different results. And that's when your dating sim knowledge really has to take into uh, action. 
Um, now, once again, I don't really know anything about this one, so I don't even know what the hearts meant. I don't know if there's like a different symbol that can come up, like if it's a, um, I don't know. I mean, there could have probably been like hearts or, actually, no, actually, Sonata seems more like a very accepting kind of guy, so I don't really think he would have a negative reaction no matter what I did. Maybe someday I'll go back and check, though. Because that's some of, the, what, some of the things I love about dating sims is you can always go back and check what would happen if you chose other results. Um, yikes. Oh, my God. Who is that kid at the bottom? Oh, my God. I want him. Uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> it's not really a kid, but you guys get the point. Uh, and I'm not into kids, so good. <laughs> um, but he looks like a kid. Like, look at that face. That's the face of youth. Although, actually... Never mind, all anime characters look like they're young, so I guess that's why. No, but seriously, like, that kid. I, by the way, I call everyone kid. I'm not gonna... I will kid you... I kid, nah, I kid you not. <laughs> um, I kid you. No, because I, I call everyone kid. No, but I kid you not. Uh, I call my dad kid. You're pressing it, kid. I call everyone kid, and that's something I probably shouldn't be doing. <laughs> I called my sister kid, <laughs> and she's two and a half years older than me. Oh, my God. I call my grandpa kid, actually, now that I think about it. And my grandma. I call everyone kid. Huh. Anyways, but that 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 character right down there. I want to play that dating sim next. God, I, I, okay, I got to point this out. It's because of the hairstyle. So, like, the blonde hair, like, the palish blonde hair in the messy style is one of my hugest things. Okay, let's move it on. I got enough for, for this last one. Come on, let's go to the, uh, I really want to go to the canteen though. I want to see characters drunk. Fuck it. <laughs> and I, I, I probably should look up what a canteen is though. I reached too early. I reached too early. Look at it. We could plan to meet at one. Okay, oh, uh, okay, okay. Wasn't it 1.30 though? Hold on, wasn't it supposed to be 1.30 though? So she's an hour early, not a half an hour early. But she's it's one. By the way, that's another reason why I'm giving them just, like, different accents, basically. Because I can't do a lot of different voices. My voice has been shot after a lot of the voice acting that I've been doing. Okay, so I've been doing a lolly voice, and I can't even do it right now. But it's on my Twitter. Go check it out. really good even according to all my family because I told them that a lolly just basically sounds like a little girl that's basically what I told them they don't know anime my mom barely knows anime at all because I've been showing her shows like Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Man Ruby which is an anime but it's still close enough so we can uh we watched Helpful, Helpful, Helpful Fox Senko-san I think or something like that Helpful Fox Maid or Fox Senko-san which one is it actually? None of that, I can't remember. Um, but I showed her that one, and I told her that Senko is lol, technically. And she goes, huh? And I go, they look and sound like a little girl. And she goes, oh, okay. And Kana is a lolly, and she goes, oh, okay. But Kana's a bit of a weird one, because she's more like the timid, like, not really timid, she's like very. But instead, I, I, I don't do that voice, because that one sucks. <laughs> But I showed everyone, they're like, yeah, that's, that's not bad. I, I actually like it. And I only spent like two hours practicing before I recorded it. But now my voice is shot because I've been there practicing it too much. Anyways, the staff is so cool and kind. Sonata really picked a good place. 20 minutes later, Sonata showed up. Sonata, 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 Sonata showed up. 20 minutes later, Sonata showed up. That's so, that's a tongue twister. Sonata, Son, Sonata showed up. I can't. <laughs> Uh, in front of the cafe. <laughs> Sorry, Roswell. Did, did you wait long? Not I apologize that he sits down now because of me being guided by the staff. Wait, so it was a half an hour? Wait, I thought they, I thought they said the 1.30, though. I'm 
confused. Uh, not at all. I just reached two. Reached. I think they mean arrive, but okay. According to the Dating for Dummies manual, this reply should be perfect. But it's a lie. You don't lie. I mean, in dating sims, you kind of do. <laughs> That's sadly true. You kind of lie to everyone and make them smooth for you. It's not a here's as he laughs as he can. I can't read that. Oops. Uh, I came earlier because I was excited to see you again, but it looks like you were even quicker than me. Uh, yeah. Wait, so. Wait, hold on, hold on. he came early. So he did come at 1. No. Yeah, he came at 1, but they were scheduled for 1.30, but that was early. But 1 is early, so they must have been 1.30. A suspect on your question, Roswell. That's you flatter me. Huh? Well, for now, let's talk after we've ordered. Oh man, after my own heart. Actually, no, I talk. I actually talk as I eat, which is a horrible thing to do, which means I don't eat much because I end up. <sighs> my main flaw is that I eat and I take breaks from eating by just talking, and that's a horrible thing to do, I know. I don't eat with, I don't talk with my mouth full, I just don't eat as I talk, and I tend to just yabber dabber 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 as no one really cares. Go! GGT, I like that. Anyways, um, saying that's not a slight, smile slightly. No! At the end of the video, kids, which is actually not too bad of timing. So, I can't do more until I get more of those blue hearts. Um... Bad ads. Bad, 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 bad. Thank you. Okay, so here's the thing is I I was hoping to record more. Um but obviously I can't. Unless I go and watch some ads. Cause then I can get three more of them and I can do like one more video. But I I'll see what I can do. Um Obviously, I mean, I can record more. I just don't know how long it takes for them to refresh. I know in the past, I've had dating sims that take 24 hours before you can get one of those. And it's like, why would I have to wait 24 hours to get romanced? Once again, I normally get romanced. Although, actually, the thing is, uh, I mentioned this, I think, in a previous video. Jess and I actually were developing a dating sim card game. And I really still, to this day, want to get that out there and actually, like, do a giveaway of it or something because we were planning on making like an official thing and it was basically where you have to choose your own path but with cards i really like those kinds of things and it's not of course it's probably not the first of its kind i am guaranteed there's probably someone else who thought of something very similar but i still to this day really like the idea because dating sims are not something you find in card game form like you really don't you don't find many board games or card games of dating sims and there's a lot of people who like them, like me, who are just complete nerds and, you know, forever alone, even though a lot of us aren't alone like me. I'm not alone. But I used to be. <laughs> I got into dating sims because I was just a horny boy. <laughs> no, actually, I got into dating sims before I was even a horny boy. And that was sad because I, I hadn't even hit puberty yet. <laughs> oh my god, I was a nerd so long ago. Anyways, I'm going to end this video now. Uh... So yeah, I'll probably record more tomorrow, but I don't know how long it'll take, and I'll hopefully have more info. Uh, I'm not going to play any more today, though, because I've already recorded like three or four episodes. I think more like four. So yeah, but I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. If you are enjoying it, I don't actually know. I should have asked first. Are you guys enjoying this? If so, thank you. I hope you are. Um, and I'm glad you are. If you aren't, then I'm sorry. I'll try and make better content in the future. Please don't abandon me. I need you here. I need you here with me. <laughs> oh, I actually am starting to cry now. Oh, God. I get into character way too easily. Um, oh, wow. That's bad. <laughs> so, anyone doesn't know, I can actually force myself to cry. Um, all I really have to do is fake cry and go like, Why? Why would you do such a thing? Why?
And then I immediately start tearing up and like I can my nose starts running. I'm really good at uh, <laughs> forcing myself to cry and it's fun. <laughs> um, maybe someday I'll do a tutorial on how bad it is. Like how I should say how bad it is to actually like force yourself to cry um, because it just it gives off like horrible reactions to people. It's basically I've never used it to get sympathy from people. I did it as an April Fool's joke once. Well, it wasn't really crying, but it was like me pretending to and I didn't get into character like to be honest. But I'll do a video on that someday where I can actually show you guys that my eyes tear up um, and my nose starts to run a bit because I actually start to cry. I can force myself to cry, basically. I'd be a really good actor. Ooh la la. Anyways. <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, so dating sims really get me in the mood for just like dumbness. <laughs> dumbness. <laughs> Oh man, as you guys can tell, I basically, I should mention, when I turned 21, one of the first things I did, and I kid you not, I had a drink of, well, it, it wasn't the first thing I did. It was one of the first things I did. My, I asked my friend to bring over, I asked them, I didn't drink until a few weeks later, but I immediately was like, hey, I'm 21 now, can you bring over some Fireball? And I want to play a dating simulator with you. And I'll, I, unfortunately, I can never post it on YouTube because, I mean, things happened and I don't think editing them out would be a good idea because they'd completely destroy the video. Um, <laughs> it was bad. Uh, basically, I started calling my friend some dumb names and he, and it, because he called me names and I'm just like, fuck you, you dumb fucking bastard. <laughs> And then we uh, we kind of hugged, and then like I kicked him, in, or I need him in the, in the nuts, and he yeah, it was a funny video, but it's one hundred percent never going on YouTube because it was horribly, horribly against the rules of YouTube. <laughs> I mean, I did call him the c word because he called me the uh... sorry, not no wrong c word. You guys are playing. I call him the okay. So my friend calls me a dickwad. I call him a clitwad. I call my my friend my other friend who's a female calls me a dickwad, and I call him a clitwad. I call her a clitwad. Sorry. Um, I call them both that because I used to call my friend Desiree a clitwad because she called me a dickwad. She's like, bye dickwad. Every time she'd hang up on the phone and I'd be like, bye clitwad. And then my other friend and I started doing it and I'm just like, yeah. So the, the C word was not, does not, you know, uh, I can't say it because YouTube will kill me. Um, <laughs> but it was clit. <laughs> Clitwad, come to me, Clitwad. And by the way, I I really, really may I wanted to do this so bad. For anyone who doesn't know, in my old Pokemon series, sorry, I have to ramble for a second. In my old Pokemon series, I called my character Call Me. Now, I did that because it's like Call Me, like you know, and when the characters in the game say it, they're like Call Me. At the end of the word, like, so how you doing? Call Me. Instead of how you doing, call me. It's like, so how are you doing? Call me. Kind of thing. Anyways, uh, but originally I was planning on calling my character Cly Twad. Cly Twad. Get it? Get it? Cly Twad. Um, and I, I chose not to do that before I even made that series because I knew that YouTube would hate me. And nowadays I'll say the words as much as I want. I'm not afraid of, you know, being, you know hated by YouTube and its platform. I just kind of say what I want now. <laughs> Fuck the standards. Fuck the... Never mind. Fuck the society. Fuck it. Anyways. Uh... <laughs> okay, so that's enough about that. I'm going to end the video now. Bye, everybody. I'll see you all next time. I hope you enjoy. And bye-bye. Bye-bye, friends. <laughs>